Uh, this is a quick video explainer for the Endocrine Physio EX homework that is due. Remember, this is going to be due on the day of lab by 2.30. So like you would be handing it in when you walk into lab, that sort of thing. Uh, the way you're going to do this is that you first are going to click on the data table and you're going to download that. It will look like this. All you care about is this metabolic rate here. That is the data that you care about. Um, then to do the assignment, you will click on Endocrine Physio EX. And it will hopefully look like this for you as a student. You are going to start with Activity 1 pre-lab quiz. Remember, your grade on the pre-lab quizzes is going to be your grade for the assignment so that you don't have to submit the data table to me as an additional thing. So this makes grading easier for me and you don't have to turn anything in. So that's also easier for you. Uh, so you are going to click here where it says exercise four. This window will open. You will want to read through this introductory stuff. This does cover things we went over, like the anterior pituitary and how TSH, excuse me, TSH regulates thyroid hormone. But you just want to review that so you know what we're talking about and you know what hypophysioectomized means. Uh, so you scroll through all of that. Again, this pre-lab quiz is for practice. You can do it if you want to, and it will tell you whether or not you're right as you do it. So you click through the pre-lab quiz. Um, you can hit submit or not. It doesn't matter. That's not part of your grade. I am just going to click continue, and this will pop up. Then what you are going to do is simply follow the prompts. I will take you through one round of testing one rat. Bear with me. It's tedious. I apologize in advance for how long you might spend pointing and clicking with your mouse. But this is the best way for us to get some data to talk about. So it's uh, determining basal metabolic rate, drag rat number one into the container and then down here you clicked next now it says weigh the rat so you weigh the rat you do not have to write that down uh, then you click next and it says clamp on the left tube top of the chamber you are going to close that then click next uh, then you're going to set this to a minute it's like six or twelve mouse clicks and then hit start fortunately you don't have to wait an entire minute they do speed time up a little bit for you uh, so you'll notice here the rat is breathing and the water in this tube just went up because there is now less volume in this chamber because the rat breathed in some of the air um, so a minute is done. We are going to click Next. Uh, then we do the T connector. Click that. Hit Next. Uh, then we go to the clamp at the top of the chamber again. So now our rat can breathe. Very nice of us to let it live. We click Next again. Uh, then it tells you to observe the difference between these two things and then select an amount of air to use to put back into this chamber that's going to level out these two lines again. I will tell you, you should start at like six. Uh, and it's a pain in the butt because you have to click the mouse for every tenth of a milliliter. Whoops, I think it's six. Let's try six. If you inject too much, it's fine. If you don't inject enough, it's fine. They just let you do it again. So we inject six. Let's 
try 6.5. No, so I think you should go to 7. I always forget this. It'll tell you when they equal out. So 7.2, they are level. Um, and then you hit next. Uh, then it's going to say calculate. You don't have to calculate. You can just hit submit data. And then it says calculate again. You don't have to calculate. You can just hit submit data. Then it says palpate the thyroid. This we don't care about. You are feeling for a goiter which would happen if this rat had elevated TSH levels for a significant period of time. We don't really care about that. But we click it anyways. We hit submit. And this is the important part, record data. Everything gets recorded. And this right here, this 1,728, that is the only number we care about. So that goes here. This is the baseline metabolic rate for your normal rat. So you will notice, I forgot to point this part out because I'm rushing to get this done a little bit. If we go back here, we've got a normal rat, a TX rat, which means that it has been thyroidectomized, and then a hypox rat, which has been hypophysioectomized. So we are going to get a baseline recording for each of these rats. And again, we're, what you want to think is what should the thyroid hormone levels in that rat be? Low, high, or normal. And then that means their metabolic rate is either going to be low, high, or normal. Because more thyroid hormone means higher metabolic rate less thyroid hormone means a lower metabolic rate. So this is your mindset going in, is what should the metabolic rate of each rat be compared to the other two? So then should their metabolic rate be higher or lower? Then let's just go next, because it'll tell us, what does it do? To drag the rat back over here, and then hit restore, and then next, uh, the prediction questions you don't have to do. But that's rat number one. Then you're going to do it for rat number two. Then you're going to do it for rat number three. Then you're going to inject rat number one with propothiouracil, which you should read about. Um, I will tell you it blocks thyroid hormone production. So think about what that should do to thyroid hormone levels and therefore metabolic rate. So you do the injection. You measure each rat again. Then you inject each rat with TSH, measure each rat again, inject each rat with thyroxine, which is thyroid hormone, and measure each rat again. So you're doing what I just did with that one rat 12 times. Boring as heck, I know, but it gives us data to talk about. So when you are done collecting all of that, excuse me, before you do all of that, I got ahead of myself. Take the pre-lab quiz, and then when you hit next, it should hopefully take you to the post-lab quiz. Uh, so you're going to open the pre-lab quiz, open this activity, which will stay open in its own window, read the introduction, go back, do the pre-lab quiz, collect your data, go back to the post-lab quiz, and then your combined score on those two is your grade. Hang on to this sheet. We will talk about it in lab. And I will say this a bunch of times. If you are confused about this, that is OK. We're going to talk about it in lab. And I'm going to post a video, which is already recorded. I just need to make it visible to you, where I go over all of the data. So you can review the data as many times as you need to for this to make sense to you. Um, so that's 10 minutes. Uh, thank you for hanging in there that this long. Um, good luck.